Today's medication, we're going to be reviewing methylprednisolone, commonly referred to as solumedrol. It's classified as a corticosteroid and it's an anti-inflammatory. This will suppress the immune response, especially in allergic reactions. Because it is a steroid or glucocorticoid, it will suppress inflammation, acute or chronic, but it can also potentiate smooth muscle relaxation by a beta agonist. So if you're giving somebody albuterol for difficulty breathing, together with this medication, it can help the patient. Methylprednisolone works by affecting the glucocorticoid hormone that are secreted naturally by our adrenal glands in response to stress, which is essential for life. These are man-made or synthetic versions of the hormones. Solumedrol belongs to a class of medications known as glucocorticoids, but it is called a corticosteroid. The mechanism of action, it's going to enter the target cells and cause these uh, reactions that are responsible for anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive effects. It's going to help stabilize cellular and intracellular membranes, and its onset of action is within one to six hours. Your indications for giving this medication are going to be allergic reaction, anaphylaxis, asthma, and COPD. Contraindications are any known hypersensitivities to the drug. It's also going to be premature infants. Some formulations of these drugs complain the benzoyl alcohol, which is used in some IV saline flushes or down some ET tubes. It's been associated with fatalities and severe respiratory and metabolic complications in low birth weights for premature infants. Most experts, especially the American Academy of Pediatrics, consider this uh, benzoyl alcohol in low doses to be safe for newborns. However, we are going to use this as a contraindication, so I'd also follow your local protocols. Contraindication is going to be systemic fungal infections. It may increase a person's susceptibility to infection and may mask some signs of infection. The risk is greater with higher doses. It may exasperate some of the infections and should not be used in people with systemic fungal disease or latent diseases such as a TB. Adverse effects are really not going to have any from just a single dose. And the dose for adults is gonna be 125 milligrams slow IV, IO, or IM administration. For pediatrics, it's going to be two milligrams per kilogram slow IV, IO, or IM with a, also a max dose of 125 milligrams. When giving this medication, it can be very painful to give, and I just wanted to show you an example that when it comes in these um, medication vials, you're going to have a saline as well as a dry powder separated by what almost looks like to be a pencil eraser. So you're going to squeeze these medications together and it is going to mix the dried powder with your um, saline and it will become that active ingredient. You will mix them together pop off the top, and then you will draw out the medication that is needed. We do give this very slow. If you are giving this um, IM, it is very painful, so it is best practice to give in a large muscle group. 